This is the second movement. So let me ask, there, I think you're doing a pretty nice job of saying what I want you to play loud and soft. I don't know if you're maybe as convincing <coughs> when you tell them how to get from loud to soft or from soft to loud. Does that make sense? Right? Because there's an opportunity for all of the things to be gradual. Right now you sort of have an on and off. <coughs> Even at the very beginning. Like you just, you stay, you're like, we can only be quiet. All right? As opposed to, cool, we're good. Right? And then the next phrase, there's an opportunity for that to grow a little bit. But any time that we have longer phrases from a, a dynamic standpoint, I'd like to see that in you. All right? So let's, let's just use one example. All right? Can we start, please, at A? And what should be happening here? Um, just to kind of build up um, instrument-wise, um, the crescendo doesn't start until here, so it should stay soft before that, um, but well, still kind of increasing intensity. Ah, good. So let's try that. All right. So this is A, please. Bless you. This is A. And even though there's not, what's your instrument? Cello. Okay. So if you were playing this, would you play same, 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 same? No. Ah, cool. So let's try what you would do as an addition. All right. This is A, please. Good. I, I think this was moderately successful. All right. Now, be careful not, not to just get louder by getting louder here, right? the intensity, which your body wants to do right now, we're just sort of all doing it at the same time. Right, so let's maybe just focus on staying tall, right? There was a little bit of that discussion at the very, very beginning about like just staying, staying here as opposed to like crouching, okay? Now, let's still show that, but then when we get here, you showed them Sibido Pianissimo. I don't see that there, got it, all right? So think about what this larger phrase is. Does that make sense? And then we're already at this volume, okay? So don't don't over dramatize this. Does that make sense? This is A again, please. Double forward. All right, great. <laughs> Less movement and you're showing them more, which is exciting, okay? Now, when we get to the end of a phrase, they need you more than anything here, right? And that's where you need to maybe be a little bit clearer, right? So can we do this? We'll start at B, and I would love to see a little more flick, right? Because right now you're 
your ictus is created by your whole arm just stopping. There's an opportunity for your refinement to be even greater, right? Because that surprisingly tells them more, right? Yeah. Try, try just this real quick. Good, all right. So can we start at B with maybe just that? Here we go. Can I give like a full breath? Or should I just write on it? Uh, yeah, they just need a breath. Okay. <laughs> You know what's going to happen, right? So, connect. Breathe, right? Good. Once, once again, but I was even surprised when you were there. I think they certainly were, right? So, be more intentional with your setup before the breath. Elbows up. Yeah, and one of the things, interestingly, right, and you're a cellist, right, and you, you sing a lot of the parts, right, which is not always a bad thing, but you, you, you can internalize that more than showing it, right? But be careful, right, not to just sort of have the, have all of this just sort of be whatever it can be, right? You want to be intentional with that. And I'm seeing a little bit of like, okay, you know, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. So I think this was better, even more precise. All right, good. And then because we were talking about this, the very first thing we talked about or that you spoke about with Professor Junkin is sort of the default left hand position, right? There's an opportunity, right? Keep it engaged, not so much in waiting in the holster, right? Mm -hmm. Here. Short, 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 blah, 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 right? Whatever's happening, right? So let this be, here's your comfort. They know exactly what you want, right? And then we can be a little bit more communicative with the left hand, all right? So we'll keep this as simple as possible. And let's try a thing or two with the left hand, all right? Okay. I'm not going to over-prescribe that yet. Here we go. Here's B. Elbows out, elbows in. <laughs> So I think some, some moments of the left hand, right, worked a little bit. And this is not something that happens overnight. It certainly doesn't happen in 30 seconds, right? So working those mechanics, one of the things that I like to do, and I, I work with my students on this, is that if you can just, like Professor Junk was saying earlier, all right, let me just find a pattern, and I'm just going to replicate this over and over and over again and not think about anything else, right? Just to try to make this muscle memory so much so that I can do anything that I want with the left hand. One of the exercises I like to do is spell the alphabet with your left hand out of time with your right hand. Okay, now don't try that, right? On, you know, um, not not yet. All right, you get home safely first. Right? Um, so for us, we want to we want to be able to separate those things. And right now, they're very tied together. And then we sort of went back to the default left hand position. Yeah. Right? There's one thing. We'll, this will be the last excerpt that we play. There's an opportunity for us to show. Right, where so we have all of this wonderful stuff in the upper tessitura, and then we've got this bubbling clarinet part that happens, you know, the bassoon and clarinet. We've got some of these lower lower sounds. We we can show some of that a little bit, right, by changing the plane just a little bit, but also letting the left hand bring some of those sounds up. All right, here we go. This is C. Last last thing we do. of time but that's something to think about right because we always want we always ask ourselves what can we do with the left hand 
you can do a lot, but you have to sort of, you have to work that technique first, right? Cool, nice job.